Well, that was really good. Yeah, man, thanks for the suggestion. No, nothing like a trip down memory lane, right? Yeah, how many times did we eat there when we were in high school? Right? <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. Do you remember that one time that the two of us and Tyler and and Jenny and Mary were all there? And right, that, yes. And remember the how Tyler, like, was stacking everything and it fell over and there was like, it, it made a dent on the wall there. Did you see it? It's still there. <laughs> oh, the memories, man. I can't believe they let us come back. I mean, I guess it's been a few years, right? <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, sure, man, you want to, yeah, you, you, you go take care of that. And, um, if you don't mind, I'll catch up with, yeah, we can, cool. So, hi, I, I didn't expect to see you here. Well, no, no, it's not bad. I, I just, I was, I was surprised. It's really good to see you. Well, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, well, this trip back was kind of a spur-of-the-moment decision. I didn't I didn't tell a lot of people. I mean, obviously, your brother, right? I mean, my best friend's going to know. I'm surprised he didn't tell you anything. Well, here we are now, right? So, um... I guess the the... Obvious question is, how you been? What's happened in your life? Well, come on, fill me in. Catch me up. <clears throat> what? Well, okay, so I, I just, I wasn't expecting to see you here, and I mean, you look really good. You, you I mean, you look very different than I remember you, but still the same. And I, I mean that in the best way. I really do. It's, it's just, um, you look really good. You're, you're, you're who I remember, but grown now. And yeah, I, I, I can't put it really any other way. You look really good. Do I? Thank you. It was very kind of you to say. Well, no, hey, I wanted to catch up on what's going on in your life. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I know. I, I didn't really keep a lot of contact with people here after I left. Well, that, that offer that I got after college, it, it was just, it was a dream job, or so I thought, and... I, I I had to take it. I didn't really want to leave town, but um, but I I kind of for my career had to. No, it didn't uh, work out. Um, not not the way I expected it to. Yeah, it, it the the pay was good. The job was good. The people I worked with were good. It just turned out like. When I was in college and all of it was theoretical, I was more interested in it. And when it turned into the day job, it wasn't quite what I had expected. It wasn't, it wasn't something I saw myself doing for the next 30 years. Exactly. Well, you know, now that you mention it, that's kind of what's driven this trip back here. I've started up my own business. I, um, yeah, yeah, same, same kind of, same kind of thing. It's just, I find that running the business is more to my liking than doing the actual legwork as one of the rank and file employees. And so I'm looking to branch out and expand and, um, possibly move my business out here. 
well, this is where my parents are. It's where, you know, I, my, my, so many of my friends are, I've missed it. This is my town. This is my, my place. It's where I want to be. So I came out to, uh, talk to some folks, um, you know, kind of just exploring what it would take to move out here and, and, um, the feasibility of it all. It, it looks good. It, it looks really good. I think, I mean, I, I, I can't obviously give you any guarantees right now, but I'd say that it's more likely than not. Oh, who knows? It, it, I mean, it'll take several months, but probably I would say if that's the way I decide to go, certainly by the end of the year, I could see myself being here and on a more permanent basis. You know, I'm just really having, <laughs> this is just messing with my mind a little bit here. It, it just feels like a time warp. It's so, okay, so many things around here are the same. Uh, some things have changed, obviously. And, and, but how many times have I been in this room right here? You know, hanging out with your brother when we were kids and, 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 you hanging with us sometimes and you know and you get to see you get to know someone so well you get to see them all the time and then to come back and it, it, it's just a weird deja vu I guess to be here in the same room with you so different but still exactly who I remember in in some very wonderful ways it's just, what, what is it? No, you very visibly blushed just now. You did. Look, if you don't want to talk about it, I won't ask. You don't have to tell me why. <laughs> Not blind though. Yeah, yeah, please tell me what's been up in your life. What's been going on? Well, good for you. And and that's working out? You enjoy that kind of work? Yeah. Good, good. No? Oh, big news? Oh, engaged. No, no, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to sound disappointed. I, um, gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for you. I, I just got caught by surprise. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't see the ring. I, No, I am. I'm very happy for you. It's... Well... You want the honest truth. I, I guess I am a little bit disappointed. You know, all those years that I hung out with your brother, and I saw you so frequently, like almost every day, you, you, you can't interact with someone like that and not feel anything. You know, whether it's good, whether it's bad, you, you interact with somebody, you, you have feelings about them. And in this case, I, I definitely, over the years, had developed a, a very real interest in you, um, romantically. I, I spent years with a crush on you. Well, of course I didn't say anything. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's it, bro code. You know, you don't, you don't move in on your best friend's little, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. It, it just wouldn't have been right. And, you know, then college and, and, and I went off and, and I've been gone for several years. 
And I, I thought that those feelings were gone. And when I came back in here and the memories came back and, and, and you know, and I saw you and, and it, the feelings came back too. And as we've sat here chatting, I, um, I guess I was entertaining in my mind a little bit, maybe the possibility that now that I'm back, we might be able to explore those feelings. I could, I could tell you how I felt and apparently how I still feel. And, but so yeah, disappointed. Um, but, but happy for you. Very happy for you. I'm glad that you've found someone who treats you right, that you're in love, that you're happy. And I wish the two of you all the happiness in the world. And I just realized I'm confessing feelings to someone who's engaged and that, okay, there's no way this ends. That's, that's good. So I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I shouldn't have said anything. I, I should have masked my disappointment better. I'm sorry. I didn't. Sorry for putting this on you. I, I forget I said anything. Okay. Forget I said anything. Um, it's been nice catching up with you. I, I, I should go. I'll, I'll show myself out and, and tell your brother that, that I'll, I'll call him later. So I'm sorry. It, it, it's been good to see you.